day, good day, good day. How's everyone doing? <laughs> oh, it's hot today. I just took a picture of the sun. Remember, don't look at it today. Unless you got them special glasses and not the fake ones. You gotta make sure you got the right ones. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. We've had several of these. Next one we'll have, but we'll be able to see and be a 2044, I think they said. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, all right. I won't be able to see past my doorstep if I'm alive in 2044. <sighs> I'm just riding out through here. Look, look what's cleaned up. There's nothing there no more. ahead and did it. The driveway is completed from the gate to the road. Even the neighbor's property is done. <laughs> day I'm just getting started it's going to be a an eclipse day and everybody's all excited you know scientists says it does this it's supposed to be for this and that but I think the only one that knows what it's truly what it's truly there for is uh, that knows what it's there for is the good Lord. Uh, it has its purpose. We don't necessarily have to know what it is. No, it doesn't. I don't think it means it's the end of the world. And no, I don't think it means the aliens are getting ready to come. Uh, you know, they come up with all these conspiracy theories of different things. Uh, I suggest this. Look back in history. Yeah. Yeah, just look back in history. Back in history, you can plainly see we've had more than one. This is not the first one. That's all I, I'm going to get off that now because, uh, you know, I bite my tongue on some things. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe that? I bite my tongue. <laughs> It's because it doesn't really matter. Uh, you, you, you can, you can, you know, you know, say you can preach to a rock; it won't move till you pick it up. Well, okay. I, I have no, no idea actually what it, uh, what the eclipse accomplishes. I just know what's happening. I know it's moving, and they're they've reached that point where. You know, the moon is uh, projected is close enough that it covers as it, it can actually cover the sun up. Um, you know, but what it actually accomplishes and does to the uh, does as far as the world and all that, I, I don't know. it is neat. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it ain't cool and all that, but I'm not going to chase it around the world. 
just don't, uh, it just don't add up to that. Anyway, I'm on my way to the fruit stand. Make me a pit stop by the store up here real quick, and then run on over to the fruit stand. That tree's leaning more all the time. Won't be long. That tree's gonna be in the road. How much longer can it hold on? Anyway, God bless. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll talk to you in a little while. Guess what? This little pony across the road has figured out that after all this time, these horses are here. And he is having himself a fit wanting to get to these girls. Look at him. <laughs> Yeah. He's going back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah. And he wants to get right here. <laughs> They're just standing here like, yeah, you just stay over there where you're at. Well, I didn't get it on video. But I got a little story to tell you. Scott told it to me. He said, I wish you'd had your camera down there because this was weird. Uh, and I thought, what is it? What, what? He says, uh, you know, the red stuff that comes from your body. <laughs> he said, he was fixing the drain pipes. Let me go back. He was fixing the drain, the, the irrigation line uh, that runs all the way up to the high tunnel from the east of the property. And there was a place there where the storm had cracked the pipe, and he went down there to fix it. And uh, he had to cut a section of it out, you know, and repair it. And uh, he had the saws off. He come over here and got my saws on. He went down there, and he cut through it. He said, and all of a sudden, there was this red stuff. And I said, Scott, are you okay? Did you cut yourself? No, 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 uh-uh. Uh, oh, Okay. Well, what did, how did you see it? What did, what? He goes, it was coming out of the pipe. He said, uh, and when I got it apart, he had cut a snake in half. But what was strange, he said, he had also cut a tail in half, cut part a tail. And I'm like, huh? He said, there was two of them in there. He got the head part, upper part of one, and the back part of another one. So, that one's probably still alive <laughs> in the line somewhere. <laughs> just, just, uh, just injured. But yeah, that would have been something to video. Oh. Well, I don't know how it happened, but we haven't had no rain yet today. Fruit stands all buttoned up. And uh, I'm going to go up here and pull these branches that, uh, since it ain't rained, uh, that are right down here. And on the neighbor's property over there, there's two big old ant hills that's right there at that fence. I'm going to poke a hole in and pour some of that stuff in there to take care of them ants. Uh, but I want up here in the upper part of the yard up the driveway here still got some pretty good sized limbs i'm gonna drag drag them right up through the hole right there into the burn pile and as soon as weather permits we're gonna burn and then that's all gonna be done with it's uh looks good down there i have to admit myself yep uh <laughs> and uh i know peggy's got peppers yeah, yeah. but Meg, Meg's little house in the country. We got to step up our game plan. Peggy, I mean, she's out doing us big time. I mean, she's got roses and she's got uh, rhubarb. She, I mean, she's got, she's going to plant other stuff too. I, I, I mean, you got a few other things planted. I just got peppers. I just got peppers. Well. Now, wait a minute. I got my herbs. Don't want to leave my herbs out. But wait a minute. 
can I count them since they just come back automatically anyway? I planted them several years ago. Well, yeah, I guess I better count it or I'll be really behind everybody. And, uh, I had to share with y'all, I want to share a picture of a little pepper. Yeah, I know it's a pepper, even if it's little. I already know, and I ain't got none at all. I ain't got a little one yet, but... Yeah, that's right. Everybody, everybody is... Man, I, I got to step up my game. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go buy some big old peppers at the store and some super glue. I think that's just my solve my problem. I'll be ahead of the game then. At least that's what they'll think. Oh, I've done told it on video. I can't do it now. Well, what the heck. I don't care. Oh, well, yeah, I do too. <laughs> no, uh, I'm proud of y'all. Y'all doing, y'all got some gardens going on. And uh, I'm really impressed with Peggy's outdoor, uh, indoors. Hers is indoors. Man, she's got, she's a, uh, her and Meg both got indoor plant stuff growing and got lots set up around here. If I th had some grow lots around here, I might have to, you know, the popo knocking on my door. They might, they might be going, what's them glow lights all about? What them grow lights? I see them up there. Yeah, they be up here asking me questions. Being as young as I am, you know, they always expect that out of these young people like us. Like me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go pull these trees up. Uh, y'all keep on smiling. The day's still young. Well, y'all probably going to get tired of seeing this. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do two things here at once. Yeah, there's tree limbs moved. Still gotta get the right and get the little ones up. But, but that's thin grass right in there, so I'm not gonna worry about it. See, I got this mode. Uh, alrighty, so. But with a, like there was a big tree limb laying right there I couldn't mow, but that's thin stuff and I don't have to worry about it getting too thick. And uh, I got all in there was all had tree limbs laying in it. I've got to bring the DR through there. But really, what I wanted to do was see if, uh, yeah, he's still running. There he is running back up there now. Over an hour now he's been running. Look at him. He, and they're way up here now. But he's like, okay, I'm a coming up there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, check out what I got done here. We got a few dead limbs. It's blooming, but there's a few dead limbs on it. I got them cut off of that. I just got a bunch of feathers right up there where I, something, something killed something. I'm gonna look at, walk down the driveway and enjoy it. Hey, y'all supposed to be going home today, wherever your new home is. Uh, you're still here. You gotta go. <laughs> hey, you're overstaying, you're welcome. You're eating all the grass. I need to be out of here for So the rain up. I mean, this, uh, this grass is very forgiving, this, this field is. Uh, if you mow it for hay, if you put the cows on it, or in this case, uh, four horses, a uh, little bit of rain, and it's, it'll come back up pretty quick. And, uh, yeah. I was wondering if that pony, look at him running back and forth. Can, can y'all see him, Danny? He's back up there. Yes, sir. I just.
There he is. He's running back and forth. I can't hold still long enough. Huh. Oh, listen at him. <laughs> Walk down through here and check out the fruits of my labor. See now, I'm gonna tell you, it's like this. The property line is right here, pretty much. So everything over here that I've cut and everything was just what was approaching the property line, you know, coming across them, uh, getting ridiculous. Uh, and somebody, I can't remember now who it was, somebody asked me about the ant killer, and I couldn't think of the name of it, and I still can't, but uh, over here on the neighbor's property, that's an active anthill right there. Look at that big old anthill. That's a big old sucker. Uh, I'm going to poke a hole in it because the rain is still coming. It's just they were wrong about today. They could be wrong about tomorrow, but not according to that 85% they're putting out there. <laughs> We've got to dig this culvert out right here and uh, put a new one in. Yeah. But down here, you can see their fence pretty good. They've got, I don't know why their fence is there and their property lines, you know, five foot over here. But that's why somebody wanted to do it at one time or another. But, uh, I got it off our driveway. There's where the famous sticker bush is. Or was, or most of it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at him. He is so excited. A pretty pony. To be so little, but he's full of spunk. Let's go back to the house. I've been on here six minutes now. I just walked down the drive. It took me six minutes to walk down here. Wow. There ain't no need taking six minutes to walk back and run the video that long. It's the same thing you saw coming down, just going the other direction. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. See, I had to push mow this. You can't, you can't, uh, can't ride around a lot more down through there. Yeah. But I'm gonna go down there. I will be back. I'm gonna drive the truck back down here with the, and uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, but somebody asked about the ant killer and I'll, I'll put a picture of it on the on video, whatever it is, while I'm doing it here. Be back in a little bit. Well, I have got to find something to get that out of there. This sticks down in there. I almost couldn't open tailgate. But, uh, yeah. I had so much stuff, trees and stuff loaded on this truck yesterday coming up there. Scott was coming up uh, from the from the east there, and he, he stopped and threw his eyes back. Like, I said, what did you think? The whole, the whole uh, woods was coming after you? Okay, it's fire, fire ant killer. Well, it kills all kinds of ants. Now, hopefully you don't have to walk with one of these right here, but if you got your uh, rake or something like that, that's all you need. Uh, I want to check this out over here first. 
Yeah, there's ants. Ants in there. So, oh yeah, see that? Ooh-wee. Okay. Make you a little hole like that in it towards the top or someplace where the rain won't wash it out. Now look. This little bag, it's just uh, three pounds. A little three pound bag. It don't, you don't have to use a whole lot. That little bit right there will do the job. People are wasting it when they pour a ton of it on it all over the hill. And all you got to do is give it to them where they'll take it down there, you know, to the queen. And, uh, okay. So, yeah, there's some. Look at that. Look at them. Woo-wee. Now, I will, when one gets that big, most of the time I'll poke two holes in it and pour a little bit in each one. But I'm not going to on this one because I don't think I'll have to. Now, if, if it's not going to rain and you want this to work, Got a little bit in the hole. Hmm, look at them. Woo. Yeah. Uh, bring you a little water. Don't drown it. Just wet it down good. A spray bottle even. Spray it real good. And uh, look at them over here. Now, the next time I come down here after a rain, and then a couple of days go by, which the rain's coming, so I'm not putting nothing on them. See, that's a little, I didn't disturb them that much. It, any little thing upsets them, but they're really not disturbed that much. That will take care of them. That will be dead. You can take, then you can take a rake, a shovel or something and just smooth it out and get rid of it. But, uh, I probably, when the first time I'm down this way with a rake, just knock it, top, knock it down, but I ain't gonna worry about leveling it off. I'm not gonna, I don't mow over there. Yes. Boy, that, that pony is going to be, or slap out and sleep good tonight. Look at him. Huh. It's starting to rain right now. I feel a little sprinkle. And the horses are way up here. There's one over there getting a drink of water out of the pond. But, yeah. They act like, these girls are like, hey, we ain't gonna be paying you no attention, shorty. <laughs> Rabbits for sale. I had to take the ducks off. He is busy. It's so funny. Yeah, it's getting ready to start raining because the wind's picking up and everything else. Well, who, uh, who got some pictures of an eclipse? my Facebook page that uh, my sweetheart up in Virginia and them film. They had some pretty good pictures of it. And uh, Eldridge fan, uh, they did a, I think they did a live video on it when they did, did it. I hadn't had time to mess and to sit down and watch it yet or see, but it looked like they were trying to set it up. I don't know how well it worked. But, uh, yeah, we do got some, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put, in fact, I took a snapshot of hers up in, in Virginia, so, uh, at different points, I'll, so I'll just put it at the end of this so you can see what she, what she saw. And that poor pony's gonna be worth slap out, running back and forth. He is one little stud. Yeah, he is. 
them girls are, them girls are really wearing him out there and he can't even get past that fence how disappointed he would be if he got out of that fence because he'd get over here and he couldn't get in this fence <laughs> Anyway, it looks like it's getting ready to come a storm. Yeah. And I'm feeling raindrops right through my window. Oh, uh, look, I'm going to, this is a short video. I was at the fruit stand today. Uh, didn't get no deliveries or nothing today. And, uh, but later on in the week, we will. Um, let's see. Yeah, didn't do. It's a pretty boring day. I got those limbs pulled. The rest of the limbs pulled out of there. I, I need to rake. Uh, you know, some of the bigger stuff so you won't uh, run over with the lawnmower and you know easier on the blades. Uh, and I still got some more work to do in that wooded area right in there, but uh, I'm not too overly concerned about that right at the moment. Uh, I'm just what I might wait till things get back to normal around here. Uh, I've had a pretty good day myself, huh? Uh, no, it wasn't no no situations or no problems or nothing. It was good. Nothing I have to deal with. Wasn't a bad day at the fruit stand. Thank the Lord. I thank the Lord even anyway. But, you know, extra. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for a great day. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful rest of the evening. Thanks to everybody that keeps up with me. God bless. Keep on smiling because Jesus loves you, and that's worth smiling about. Amen. I'm going to get turned around and get in the house before this gets any worse. Wind's blowing right in through the window, blowing in here. But uh, we'll see you. God bless. Put Peggy's pepper right down to this, too. Uh.